Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of that super emotional but great episode of AMC's Fear the Walking Dead. That's never gonna go away. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before I go on, of course, and I keep gushing and talking for too long, obviously, uh, please be warned, this is a spoiler-filled episode review. If you're not caught up on Fear the Walking Dead by this episode or the past couple episodes, don't keep watching or listening, as I will be discussing spoilers. That being said, you have been warned. Let's jump right back into it. First and foremost, I love the introduction of a wolf dog as a member of a group of survivors. And those people who are outcasts are rejected by Virginia and her settlements. And uh, they happen to pick up this wolf dog along the way. And uh, I thought that was an awesome addition to a uh, ragtag group of survivors. Unfortunately, you know, as much as I liked Dwight, I kind of didn't like that he let the dog go. So now it really has no reason to come back. But if it had warmed up to the people it was penned up with, maybe we'll see it again someday. I just think it's cool to see an animal, you know, that's still friendly and sociable with humans in a world like The Walking Dead. Um, I guess we should have known that anything in this universe is a double-edged sword. You know, as awesome and as touching as it was that Dwight and Sherry were reunited a few episodes ago, which was an, another excellent episode. By the way, all the episodes so far this season have been enormous improvements over last season, if not the series in general. Just one man's opinion. Anyway, so with their touching happy reunion, of course, we're also treated to some, you know unfortunate drama i mean well uh, you know it's well just it's well justified drama at that i also gotta say i love the the stunt they did uh regarding the armored uh van and uh the masked writers and how dwight well probably not austin emilio but his stunt double did that impressive stunt riding alongside that van jumping on like it was a goddamn western stagecoach robbery that's really what it was it was like a modern day stagecoach robbery except it's in the apocalypse and there's nothing to steal but the van itself <laughs> um so that was cool really impressive action packed sequence that was I also like seeing Sherry and Morgan meet for the first time, even though, you know, they only have one thing in common, which is Dwight or their past with the other survivors back in Virginia. And I what I also loved about this episode is that it showed us that Sherry has changed just as much as Dwight has since we've met him or since we've known both of them together. So it's not surprising that, you know, she kind of has this bloodlust almost for taking down Ginny not because of something that Virginia necessarily did to her but this is like symbolic revenge for all the shit that Negan put her and Dwight through all those years ago back at the sanctuary back in Virginia and I had a feeling that was going to be the case when she said no we've got to stop him we like we got to take him down and Dwight's like him and he's like oh this isn't about Virginia this is about Negan of course and what I loved about it is that I don't know if there's a term or a name for this, but when somebody's been through trauma or they went through something and they regretted that they didn't do more and they wish they could have, and a similar situation arises or they find themselves in a similar predicament, they don't want to repeat the mistakes of the past and they want to do things or make things right, which totally explains why she is so dead set on taking out Virginia. Honestly, I think when she gets this bloodlust out of her system, she and Dwight can live happily ever after and everybody could once Virginia's dead. What's also interesting is that I don't think these people are the same group that those two uh, raiders were who ambushed Morgan uh, at the last episode when they were looking for the key. So there's another party at play here. We don't know what it is yet, but it, it, you know, for, between Virginia's settlements and her rangers and now Sherry's group of masked outcasts, you know, there's another force at play, and we'll probably find out what that is eventually. But overall, great episode, excellent acting, especially from the actress who plays Sherry and Austin Emilio who plays Dwight. Hats off to those two. That was fantastic character acting. So well done to you guys, and great episode overall. What did you guys think of it? I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your evening. We have only two or three more episodes before the mid-season finale. Normally that would happen at the eighth episode, but because of COVID, it's going to be at the seventh one, which should be in a few weeks. Have a great rest of your night, guys. Thanks for watching, and of course, until next time, may the force be with you.